In this short video we will cover using the filter node and the split node, both found in the aggregation and transformation category of the node library. The filter node provides functionality to change and customize the data output using BrainScript, LavaStorm's scripting language. The split node is a specialized filter node that splits data according to specified criteria. Select the aggregation and transformation category from the node library. Double click on the filter node to add it to the graph canvas. I will join it to the acquisition node. I will double click on the node to open the node editor. The filter node is essentially a blank node. Its functionality is customized by entering BrainScript into the script section of the node. By default, the script section contains the line of script shown, which outputs all inputted fields and records. The emit keyword is used to specify the fields to output and the asterisk wildcard indicates all data fields. As you can see, BrainScript keywords and functions appear in a blue font. For a full list of BrainScript functions, use the BrainScript help access through the help menu. To add a function to the script area, simply right click. A menu is displayed showing all the different categories of functions. Simply choose the category you require and then choose the function from the list. In the example that follows, I will use a filter node to output the month an item was purchased, taken from the date column. I will also output the price of an item as a double data type without the dollar sign. I will enter a name. Firstly, I need to find out the length of the price field. To do this, I need to enter a variable. I will call this variable price length. Variables do not need to be defined before they are assigned. The next thing to do is add the function that will calculate the length of the price field. The general syntax for a function is the field name the function is to be applied to, a period, and then the function name followed by a set of parentheses. If required, arguments for the function can be added between the parentheses and a comma separated. Multiple functions can be strung together, separated by periods. So for our example, the field the function is going to be applied to is the price field, and the function that will calculate the length is called strlen. In this instance, there are no function parameters. Next, I will add a comment to the script. To do this, I need to place a hash in front of the comment. All comments appear in a green font. Now I know the length of the price field, I can use that value to remove the dollar sign from the price. I will enter the price field. And then, using the write function, which returns the number of characters from the right of the field specified in the function parameters, using price length minus 1 will bring all the characters apart from the dollar sign. I will enter another comment. Then I will change the data type of the price field. I will create another variable. And then use the double function to change the data type to double and add another comment. The final piece of information I need is the month each item was purchased. For this, I will need another variable which I will call month of purchase, where I will use the month function on the dates field. The month function extracts the month portion of a date. The final task is to output the data from the filter node using the emit keyword. As I would like all the fields from the input to be output, I can leave the asterisks in place and list the other output fields afterwards, separated by commas. As I would like the price field to be replaced with the data from the price value variable, I will use the override emit statement. Now the node is configured, I will click OK. And then run the node. Once the node is run, I will view the data produced. Next, I will demonstrate the split node. The split node splits the input based on a given condition. It is found in the aggregation and transformation category along with the filter node. I will add the node to the graph and join it to the previous nodes. I will open the node editor to configure the node. 
and enter a name for the node. The condition that splits the data should be added into the predicate expression box. The condition must equate to a boolean result. The condition I am entering will evaluate if the total purchase field is greater than 400. By default, the script section contains the script that will output all fields. BrainScript can be used to customize the output in a similar way to the filter node. When the node is configured, click OK and run the node. The first of the two output pins, the true pin, will show all those records where the condition set in the split node is true. The second of the two pins, the false pin, will show all of those records where the condition set in the split node is false.